like a different kind of a gun. It is, I'm gonna show you how it works right now. FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. I've been, uh, I mean, the season is long, and we still got a lot more to go, but I mean, I've been running solid. Um, I want to kind of show you, this is the Kent's driving. There's Kent right there, and Bowen, Bowen has got his camera going right there. There's Bowen, say hi Bowen. It's pretty warm, uh, but we've got some, I want to tell y'all, we got some cool tools with us. Of course, uh, I mean, with the rut coming on, I'm gonna be using special golden esters, you know that. And for those of you who do not subscribe to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel has got hundreds of videos on it to where uh, the tips, how-tos, behind the scenes, and some good stuff that I think you'll find very interesting. Let it rain. We've been driving quite a while now. We wound up left out uh, about mid-morning and uh, headed up Interstate 35 up through Dallas. Did a uh, Facebook Live post and I wound up, I've been on my telephone since, uh, well, since I got off the Facebook Live answering different people's questions. Okay, how do I finish this, guys? It says it's still live. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we stopped, it was uh, it was raining a little bit. We put our bags up in a, in a trash bags and so we've stopped the fuel up and uh, an hour and a half away from our destination and I'm tired of being in the back seat of this thing. at Extreme Whitetail Adventures. I've been looking forward to coming to Extreme Whitetail Adventures for almost a year now. So when David and Kathy wound up buying it, I made a commitment to them, I'm gonna come up here, and now I'm kicking myself because I didn't come up here sooner. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having us out here. Oh, yeah. It was dark 30 when we came rolling in and uh, David wasn't around, but Kathy was. So she showed us around the lodge, showed us to our rooms and uh, time to get some shut eye. All right, we're just getting settled in. We wound up, met the guys and had a really nice talk with Kathy and we really kind of huddled up. Uh, the one thing is I don't want to get in, her, in a hurry and go out tomorrow. And, uh, the reason why is I always practice this rule. Whenever I get to a place, no matter if I'm driving down the street or driving 12 hours like we did today, I always want to check my rifle, make sure it's still on. I uh, don't want to hunt unless it's still on, so what we're going to do in the morning, we're going to sleep in, and uh, then we're going to go out and we're going to shoot the rifle, make sure it is still zeroed in, and make a plan for the remainder of the day. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx. 10X High Performance Hunting Gear. Legendary Arms Works, Sightmark, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%.
and Tannerite. Tannerite Binary Reactive Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. This one is from Dominic. He says he's from Michigan. He says, hi, Mr. Warren. I've read lots of conflicting opinions on how to tell when the whitetail rut happens, and I wanted to know your thoughts. I see fawns every year starting in early June that look really small. Can you backdate from then to tell me when the rut is? Uh, Dominic, that's a real good way to tell when the rut is. Uh, but the deal about it is you need to understand that the whitetail gestation period is about 196 to 200 days. You're not going to see a whitetail fawn, odds are, until he's a couple of weeks old. And so what I say, it's about 210 days before you're going to actually see the fawns out up moving with their mama. So it's about seven months. So from the first time you see a fawn, back to eight, seven months, and that's probably when that fawn was conceived. shoot the rifle and just check for zero and then uh, once we're zeroed in and have confidence that everything is good we're going to go take a look around. The rifle I'm shooting is a 300 Win Mag and it is made by Legendary Arms. This particular model is called the Professional and you'll notice it is one beautiful piece of equipment. It has a fluted barrel with a removable muzzle brake on it. It has a floor plate on here that you can open up to unload it very easily. The bolt is very smooth. The action is extremely smooth. This has a three-way safety where all the way back is safe. Halfway forward, you can't pull the trigger, but you can still raise the bolt up. Forcing all the way forward is fire. So. This right here is an unbelievable accurate rifle. I'm shooting 180 grain Freedom Munitions tagged out ammo. And it likes that ammo. We're gonna go down and take a look at it. I'll show you. Now that we know that it's sighted in all right, it's time to take a look around. We found a nice little scrape about 15 feet away right there. Turn it on, just simple as that. The cool thing about this camera is that to operate it, you don't have to get up here close to it. It runs off Wi-Fi, off your telephone. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Nemo Arms, Legends Ranch, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination.
This place here is known for really big deer, really, really big deer. Now, I didn't just bring along the legendary arms 300 Win Mag with me. I, I brought along another rifle. If this looks like a different kind of a gun, it is. I'm gonna show you how it works right now. This is a 50 caliber pneumatic air gun called a PCP. It's a Dragon Claw, and uh, you can get them online at pyramidair.com. I want to tell you about it. It's a 50 caliber. It shoots an arrow at 500 feet per second, and it also shoots a uh, 50 caliber pellet, but it's really nothing but a muzzle loader bullet. It topped off with a variable power scope, and uh, these two long tanks right here, this is like an air chamber that you charge it right here on the end. You put your charging hose right here, you charge it, and it gets compressed air in here. And then you cock it by pulling the hammer back like that. It has a nice safety. You'll notice on the bottom of the forearm it has a pressure gauge, and that pressure gauge will tell you how much air pressure is in the reservoir here. And so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna load it up, take a shot at 40 yards, and I'm gonna show you, because this thing, will perform like you can't imagine. I've never seen somebody shooting a rifle like this on television, and it shoots either a pellet or an arrow at 500 feet per second. There we go. That's what that's what I was talking about. I mean, it's, if that piece of wood was not behind there, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable. Look at the penetration. Right. This thing is shooting 500 feet per second, and it's got the most unreal penetration. And the reason why I brought the Dragon Claw is real simple. David said if an old doe came in and I felt comfortable to go ahead and I could use the Dragon Claw to take it out. The first evening we sat out and we saw a lot of deer, but really no rutting activity. I wasn't expecting too much the next morning, but boy was I wrong. It's like somebody went and turned the switch. was activity there were some bucks in there nothing really big some does they were running around all of a sudden doe came in it's like shoot me You know, the arrow flies so fast out of this gun that it really is hard to see it, even when you're looking through the scope. As luck would have it, I uh, was expecting that doe to drop pretty quick, but it didn't. It wound up went down and down and down. I followed that blood trail all the way down to, uh, well, about the thickest spot on the property. Mm-hmm. Holy smoke, would you look at the size of this old doe. Oh my goodness, you can tell she thrashed down here. Look at this, this is exactly what David asked me to, to go for. Look at the size of the hole in that. Look at how big she is. This is probably, I'm serious, probably 160, 170 pound doe. This is a great big old one and a great one to take. Every ranch I go to, if it's good hunting, it is intensely managed, and that means that they have to take does. And I'm all about taking does. I mean, we take all the meat home. People say, what do you do with all the meat from the deer? Well, we take it home. We eat all we can. What we can't eat, we give to our friends, and neighbors, and we share the bounty that we get out in the field with people that are less fortunate. Would you take a look at this doe? 
Wow, I am thrilled to death. The only downside of this is she's in the very bottom. I gotta go get David to help me get it out. <laughs> but that's a good problem to have. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com, Liberty Safe, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Castle Rock Outfitters, and OpticsPlanet.com. So it's the last morning of the hunt, and I think uh, it couldn't be better. I mean, the weather is perfect. A little bit cool, need to have a light jacket on. Starting to just break daylight a little bit. And we head to the stand, get up there, and daylight comes, we look out, and nothing. I guess the deer wound up sleeping in this morning because uh, as soon as the sun came up, we looked out there, and there wasn't a deer in the field. And about an hour and a half later, I'm sitting there thinking, well, clearly we made the wrong decision. And then again, it's like somebody just flipped the switch. What happened? Again, it's just it's just off and on, but that's what happens in the pre-rut. I mean, it can be on, then off, and the next day a little bit more on, and then off, and then a little bit more on as we go to the peak of the rut. And so anyway, sitting there, the deer out in front of us, and all of a sudden, the man showed up. Right here. I mean, a fresh grape, you can tell somebody's been peeing in it. And he's right there. Look at the size of this guy's body. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. This is a big necked, big, heavy Midwestern buck. Oh wow. I have been looking forward to coming to Missouri to hunt with Extreme Whitetail Adventures now for almost a year. I'm David Bowman, owner of Extreme Whitetail Adventures here in Missouri. I ran into Keith Warren about a year ago. And I asked him, what would it take to get him to come film at my place? He said, not much. I've been wanting to get up there and hunt that place. I mean, he's, he's a nice, big, mature buck. Extreme Whitetail Adventures, folks, is uh, owned by David Bowman and his wife Cassie, and they have got some unbelievable property here. It's great habitat, they've got some incredible deer. I mean, look at this guy. I don't know how many points he has, I don't even care. But I come out here because I want the experience. And hunting in Missouri, you know, they call this a show me state. And I'm telling you what, every time I come to Missouri, I'm more and more impressed. We have anything from giants to a beautiful management bucks here. We offer three-day exclusive, all-inclusive hunts. If you're interested, check us out at www.extremewhitetailadventures.com or give me a call at 407-733-9969. If you want to uh, contact David at Extreme Whitetail Adventures, we'll have a direct link off of our website, right to his website. Give him a call. He'll be happy to answer any questions. And if you come out here, uh, I think you're going to be very, very impressed. Hopefully the weather won't be as warm, but even in warm weather, these deer were starting to move. This is great. I am very, very happy with him. Don't have to move this one far to get to the buggy, but look at the size. 
size of him. The neck is incredible. They're well over 200 pounds. Wow. You know, for me and the kind of hunters that I hang around with, whitetail hunting is not about killing the biggest deer that you can kill. It's, a, it's about the experience. It's about going out there and taking everything in from the leaves falling and the acorns on the ground to watching the deer play. It's, uh, it's making new friends that, uh, that you'll have for the rest of your life. It's uh, seeing new places and seeing new faces and it's, it's the experience. It's, it's everything wrapped up into one. So yeah, we come to a place as hunters to, uh, to get that experience and yep, to take home a, hopefully a big deer. But I want to take home every single time I go to the woods, I want to take home a big experience. Ha, ha, ha.